Nash Hen as Glee. Geralt and Yennefer were reunited, but something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest.
Let's go!
Jacko, Hannah, go home now. I'll not give her up, not on me life. They hear her squealing. They'll kill us and take her all the same. So I'll slaughter her myself. Hide her corpse neath the floorboards. Those bastards won't have her. All right, all right. We'll cover them. Be gone. This has naught to do with you. Leave this place, sir. Stay clear of the swamps. Mm -hmm. Go into the woods. Wait there till I can't get you. Understood? Yes, da. Go. Quick, now. Oi, what not? Got any vittles? What you be doing here, traveller? Get out while you can.
Got an ill look in your eyes. What's that you want? Oh, oh. white knob. What's that you want? Another love. You've had enough. No wench will ration my vodka. Poor damn it. For ye taste the bag of me hand. What do ye want? You, Hendrik. No. Don't matter with that one. It'll bring trouble. Who rules this land now? Baron does. By whose decree? Temerian or Nilfgaardian? Uh, by his own. War's on. You got the men, you take the land. Why are you so curious, eh? So long. High time we went home. We'll go once I've drunk. Got some questions. Uh-huh. So long. High time we went home. We'll go once I've drunk. Looking for a man. Goes by Hendrik. What you want with him? Want to talk to him. What about? Give me a bottle of something strong. You gotta go. I'll open the back way for you. Got company. Who is it? Haven't finished my drink yet. In Cape, Vodka. Who's this? Sir? Brave warrior looks like. Got two swords, see? Oi! Great boy, what's the point of having two swords? Wonder if he keeps an extra prick in his trousers too. You fucking deaf. Gonna say who you are? Or do I need to loosen your tongue with me knife? Someone who'd prefer not to be bothered while he's having a drink. <laughs> Hear that? We've a distinguished gentleman in our midst. Shine your boots, governor. No. Wouldn't want the grime in your hands to rub off on them. Bolo, did you hear what I heard? Go away. 
or I'll kill you. Damn it! Enough! Come on, let's stick, bug! All together! Now! That'll never work! Oh. What? Lost your nerve? Have you any idea what the Baron will do when he learns of this butchery? The village! He'll tear it apart before anyone can say it was some wandering mutant done it! An iron fist he's got! Where's Hendrik? You deaf! Understand what I'm saying? Baron won't let this stand! Calm down. Your Baron's no idiot. Seriously doubt he'll think you locals cut his men down with farming implements. Now where's Hendrik? Man lives in Heatherton. Don't know where that is. Other side of the hill. Looked that away this morning and saw a strange glow. Imperials on the raid, perhaps. But who knows? Anything else you can tell me about Hendrik? Odd fellow. Arrived from who knows where and for no apparent reason. Shacked up with a widow whose husband was stabbed for a scrap of bread. Baron's men don't like strangers. Aye, he stays out of their way. Always seems to know when they're coming. Always manages to disappear. Thanks, Inkeep. Go out the back. More of the Baron's men in the village. No need to worry about me. I'd rather you not make any more trouble for yourself, for us both. Not your lucky day. I'm a witcher. Heard you wondering about my swords. Well, one's for monsters, the other for humans. Only got one prick, though, in case you're wondering about that, too. Don't touch him. Don't even look at him. Worse than lepers, that lot. Saw one in action once. Killed a half dozen. Blood everywhere. Freak didn't even show a drop of sweat. Got the stench of corpses on him. If you want to rest, come with me. Or the bench you can use. I step in the hood, and there's the bumpkin with what looks like his son. That's on the pretty side, I think, of himself. I say he probably disguised his daughter. <laughs> Horsons always manage to hide their lasses. Thought he'd outsmarted me, the arsewipe. Mean he hadn't. I plowed the snot out of that little shit. Lad, that's whatever the fuck he was. <laughs> Must have surprised the old coot. Bet he wet himself. <laughs> you stink of dead men. Get out. What you want, Ned? If it's human speech you don't understand, I'll explain it with iron, you bastard. Give the devil someone to rot. How about I buy everybody around? Why would you? Got the coin for it. Simple as that. I don't drink with strangers. 
What we share around won't be strangers anymore. Then we go our separate ways. And which way might yours be? Is it just me, or is that none of your fucking business? I must be hearing things. You ain't. He meant to insult. I'll have to kill him then. Now! Round behind! How, oh, damn it! Yeah! On my way to Novigrad. City of whores and whoremongers. Who are you? Who oh, I? And why do you care? Just curious. Kinda wondering what you're doing here. I don't like curious types. Really? How badly? So bad. That I kill him. Ah, fuck you, Rod! All together! No! Oh, that'll oh. never work! Ah. Like to know who I'm drinking with, just like you. We're the Baron's men, and you're in his land. A Baron holds these lands? Must be quite a man. Doesn't seem to care a lick about all the Imperials here. More and more arriving, too. Bloody Baron's not some poncy prick son of a rich lord. So no, he's not like to piss his britches at the sight of a black-winged head. This is interesting stuff. Our Baron's Baron, because that's the way we want it. And if that strikes anyone as wrong, well, we encourage them to speak their mind. To your health, and mine. Bottoms up! If you want to rest, come with me. I have a bench you can use. I step in the hut, and there's the bumpkin with what looks like his son. That's on the pretty side, I think to myself. I see he probably disguised his daughter. <laughs> Horsons always manage to hide their lasses. Thought he'd outsmarted me, the arse wipe. Mean he hadn't. I ploughed the snot out of that little shit. Lad, that's whatever the fuck he was. <laughs> Must have surprised the old coot. Betty wet himself. <laughs> One round, you said. And that were it. Now shut off. Thanks for not starting a row with those swine. I don't generally poke my nose in other people's business. Looking to stay the night? No. Huh. I'm looking for Hendrik. Man lives in Heatherton. Don't know where that is. Other side of the hill. Always seems to know when they're coming. Always manages to disappear. Thanks, Inky. Every lad in the unit shagger senseless. Is that everything? Is that all you got? It's all. I swear on the poor nipper's grave, sir. Here, they took. Thank you kindly. Won't be no use to anyone if you starve to death. Strap on the loot. We're done here. What's new in the broad world? Got any vettles? Hungry like a wolf, I am.
Hmm. Rig change? Wouldn't mind a drink. Show me what you got. Bloody Baron. How'd he get that moniker? There a story to it? A time ago, when he was still in the army, some blackens had holed up in a dye works. Baron and his men were ordered to take it. Others might have bided their time, starved him out, but the Baron's an hasty one, attacked straight away. The blackens surrendered. Baron and his men took most of them alive. But one of his blokes knocked over a vat of red dye. It all ran into the river. Folk took to saying that the river flowed red with blood. That the Baron had slaughtered his prisoners to a man. Been known as the Bloody Baron ever since. Kind of ironic. Well, a week before, he'd massacred a whole squadron in Ingholm. But far fewer heard that story. Baron's not from around here, right? He's Tamarian, but from other parts. Folk say he deserted along with his company, showed up here one day with his stragglers. They'd all had enough of the wandering. So they took the old lord's castle, and the Baron became master of Crow's Perch. Reckon once the Blackens feel sure they hold the land, they'll let him keep Crow's Perch, give him a true title. Thanks. Farewell. Descends, brother against brother will draw. Fathers their cubs will spurn, large and small. Rot Merciful will recede burner. and wither the crops. Wolves will leave crows, corpse upon corpse. For when the great dark descends, it will consume all and bring all to an end. Want a chat? Not with me. My head's a twirling with hunger. Ah. Uh... his blood fall on me, not on me, young ones. Thank you. 
Come on, Roach. strange, like dropping into a deep cellar on a hot day, and the mist. Hey there. Be gone! Leave me be, whoever you is! Get away! Calm down. It's over. Aye, it's over. All's past, never to be restored. I'll not forget that ever. Looking for a man named Hendrik, supposed to live in this village. Aye, he did. No longer. They nabbed him in that hut. If you'd have heard the cries, sir. If you'd have heard how a man can scream. How he can suffer. Tell me what happened here, step by step. They took him. Took him all. The sun was waning, see? And the dusk went crimson like blood. Thought to myself, strange. The toads, I cannot hear them. Save terror through and through. Hendrik screamed. Then he begged. By the end, he could do naught but moan. Just wonderful. Weren't here long, the terrors. Yet the village froze like in the heart of winter. You in that hut when they rode off? No. And I'll not set foot there. Never. Farewell, and peace of mind to you. Mm. <laughs> I didn't do nothing. Don't hit me, sir.
Traces of ice around the footprints. Really? Tortured him. Maybe they missed something. Need to check his pockets. Trousers are stiff, as if hung out to dry midwinter. Maybe hid something in his jerkin. Damn, he's cold as ice. Nothing here. Should check his boots. Blood, congealed. Key hidden in his boot. Gotta fit a keyhole. Somewhere nearby, hopefully. There's a draft. Gotta be a space under this rubble. Guess I should do some cleaning. left unlocked, on display, almost. Lost his mind, or... Hmm. Payment for a sack of grain. Amount due for a charcoal shipment. Hendrik was masquerading as a merchant. Hmm, what's this? Notes among the ledger entries. Clever. Interesting headings. Missing and wanted. Subject appeared in Skellige. Also sighted in Novigrad. Appearance unchanged, ashen hair, scar on her face, avoids contact with others. Drunken swine, so-called baron hosted subject at his castle, or should I say, illegally appropriated fort. Reason unknown, talked to baron at Crow's Perch. Clashed with a witch, subject landed in swamp, encountered a witch, conflict ensued, cause unknown, find the witch. Talk to the peasantry, village of Midcops. Caution advised. I'm being observed. Don't know by whom or why. Unsettling signs. Dog ran off. Water in bucket froze solid. Strange glow observed in the sky. Ill omen, peasants say. Somehow they learned Hendrik was looking for Siri. Thus the torture. I'm too late. My only leads, the Baron, and some witch. Damn.
Take it easy. You don't poke your nose out the village. My father took me once. Probably to sell you to a beggar, but none was interested. What's that you want? Got an ill look in your eyes. What's that you want? Oi, white knob. 